Welcome to the lecture series of numerical methods. Today we are going to discuss unit 5. The topic of the unit 5 is boundary value problems in ordinary and partial differential equations. Under this chapter, the first topic we are going to discuss is solution of second order differential equations with boundary condition. So, the second order differential equation will be given like Laplace equation, Poisson's equations with the boundary conditions. Okay, so, we are going to get the solution of second order differential equations with boundary condition. For that, we are going to use some basic result. The first one is consider a rectangular region capital R in XY plane divide the region into a rectangular network of orders del x equal to h del y equal to k. The point of intersection dividing the lines are called mesh points or nodal points or grid points and it is denoted by u of x comma y equal to u of i h comma j k or simply u of i comma j. So, under this um, solution of second order differential equation with boundary conditions, the first result we are going to use is a standard 5 point result and diagonal result. So, for that what we are going to do is, we are considering a rectangular region, that region in the x y plane. So, look at this diagram, if you are taking the x axis and y axis, draw the lines like this. This makes a rectangular network. The distance of the x, that is the distance between the x coordinates is, x coordinates we can make it as h and distance between the y we can make it as k that is a difference in y data we can make it as k. So, the point of intersection dividing the lines like this you know the point the intersection point here we have mentioned that it is called it as mesh points or grid points or nodal points. So, instead of writing this and all we can denote the point as u of x comma y it is understood that x variation and y variation also that is u of i h and j k. So, the h and k is nothing but difference in the x and difference in the y or instead of writing like this simply we can denote the point as u of i comma j. So, in this uh, network region if I am taking a point u of i comma j ok if I am taking a point u of i comma j to find this value we have taken the four neighboring points that is the left to right above and below. Likewise we are taking the points for example, the middle point uh, u of i comma j. So, the left one is u of i minus 1 comma j and the right one is u of i plus 1 comma j and the above point is u of i comma j plus 1 and the below point is u of i comma j minus 1. So, here the value of look at this one the value of any interior mesh point ok. So, the value of any interior mesh point is the average of its value at 4 neighboring grid points that is to the left, right, above and below which is given by u i comma j equal to 1 by 4 u i minus 1 comma j plus u i plus 1 comma j plus u i comma j plus 1 plus u i comma j minus 1. This formula is called standard 5 point formula. Instead of writing standard 5 point formula, you can write it as SFPF. So, we can also use u of i comma j equal to 1 by 4 u i minus 1 comma j minus 1 plus u i plus 1 comma j minus 1 plus u i plus 1 comma j plus 1 plus u i minus 1 comma j plus 1 which is called diagonal 5 point formula that is DFPF. So, instead of taking the left to right above and below, if you are taking the points in diagonal ok in the diagonal manner, instead of writing left to right above and below, if you are taking the diagonal points like this u i minus 1 comma j i j minus 1, u i plus 1 comma j minus 1, here u i plus 1 comma j plus 1 and here it is u i minus 1 comma j plus 1 to find the value of the middle one u i comma j. So, if you are taking the neighboring points then we can use the standard 5 point formula. If you are taking the diagonal points we can use the diagonal 5 point formula. These two formulas that is the standard 5 point formula, standard 5 point formula and the diagonal 5 point formula. Both the formulas are very important formula under the solution of Laplace equation. So, the first and the foremost result is standard 5 point formula and diagonal 5 point formula. Standard 5 point formula means to find the any point that is this point of intersection is called it as mesh point or grid points. To find the value of the middle point, if you are taking the neighboring point values that is left to right 
above and below if i am taking this kind of values then we are supposed to use the result as standard 5 point formula if i am taking instead of the neighboring points instead of that if i am taking the diagonal points then we are supposed to use the diagonal 5 point formula so this is the first result under this unit 5 so in the next topic we are going to discuss is solution of laplace equation for that only we are going to use the standard 5 point result and diagonal 5 point result so these two result are a very important two more question under this topic okay thank you for watching